In this week's edition of Fresco Friday, I'm gonna show you about the magic of vector trimming. Even if you don't need vector artwork for the way that you work, vector trimming can make your line work process so much easier than traditional pixel brushes. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about the differences between pixel and vector-based artwork. I have a whole other video about that, which I'll link below. But vector artwork is infinitely scalable, and pixel artwork is pixel dependent, so it can only look as good as the amount of pixels that are in your document. But who cares about that stuff for now? Vector trimming makes doing tight, clean line work super easy. So let's head over to my iPad and I'll show you how it works. To demonstrate the magic of vector trimming, I'm gonna use this little magic wand to transform this rough sketch of a cloud friend into a tighter version of it. So what I'm gonna do is just select the vector brushes, which are the third down on the toolbar. And we can just start drawing. We don't need to go ahead and make a new layer because when you switch between vector and pixel brushes, it's automatically gonna make a new layer for you because you can't combine vector and pixel on one layer. You can combine vector and pixel in one document, but they're, they have to be isolated on different layers. So if we tap on our brush settings down here, you'll see that I have smoothing turned all the way up. This is because I want some nice smooth lines for the cloud. So I'm gonna use all the help I can so I don't have to worry about using my shaky coffee hand to make a smooth line. So let's just get started. So we'll come in here and trace over this line here. And you'll see it automatically made us a new layer. Now to get this other circle here, we want it to start right on the edge of this one, but it'd be a lot easier if we could just draw through it, right? So let's just draw through it. So we'll start a little earlier, get our momentum going and then pull in like that. And you're like, okay, well that's good. Now we can just come in here and erase that. Well, you could double tap this like I showed you in the last fresco tip where you can double tap the modifier to turn whatever brush you're using into an eraser. This also works with the vector brushes. So with the vector brushes, you have one other level in your modifier thing. So if we tap that again, you'll see the blue goes to the outside edges, and this is gonna put us in vector trimming mode. So with vector trimming mode, I can just come in here and just X out anything that I don't want that goes beyond some overlapping lines. So let me do some more of this and you'll see what I'm talking about. So we'll do this half circle up here and we'll just bust through that line. We'll keep going. We're not worried about getting those perfect things. Just to show you, like if you, you know, weren't trying to do it, it's a lot harder to just sort of get that perfect and then like stop it right there. It's harder to get that smooth line. With the smoothing turned on, it helps a little bit, but you know, it's so much easier to just do a fast, wider stroke to get that just the way we want it. So we'll just work our way around here. So now we can just come back in and clean that up. So double tap and tap again to get into vector trimming mode. And then we'll just come in here and get rid of the things we don't want. Look how fast and easy that was. I don't know if this is blowing your mind, but every single time I do this, I'm very excited about it. All right, let's keep going and see how helpful vector trimming can be to make this nice and clean. So I'm gonna do the eyes and I'm just gonna do full circles because that's a lot easier to draw. And now we can do these like overlap things here. So I'm just gonna come in, make these half circles, like that. And then get into our vector trimming mode and then just get rid of that overlap. Boom! Magic. All right, it's gonna come in handy for these teeth. Let's just come in like this. And we can just do this super fast, blow right past the edges and not worry about it. Then we can come back in, vector trim mode. Boom, boom, boom. Get out of here. Stupid overlaps. So nice, so tight. So let's say we want to add a little shadow tone to this. Just sort of make a shape in this area. You can come in here, get rid of 
the spots where it overlapped like that let's see this little one here get rid of that come in here get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that and then we could go ahead and fill that area in pretty neat right maybe we want some a little bit around the eyes that maybe we'll put some like that maybe a little over here I think that's probably enough come in here get vector trim mode get rid of that all right let's do a little bit more sorry I'm having fun here I think because it's like a white cloud it should have some colored eyes so they're not white but maybe we want it to have a little bit of a dimension to it or whatever trim these spots where it overlaps and then we'll do like a slightly lighter version for the rest now let's see how vector trimming can help us tighten up this little 3dr icon so as you can see in this sketch, when I drew this, I extended these lines all the way through the center part of the R because it's a lot easier to draw that way. So as I've shown you with the cloud, vector trimming can be super helpful here. The other thing that's tricky when you're doing this kind of thing where we want to maintain this outline is getting nice tight edges at the bottom. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I were to draw this line right here, and then try to draw this bottom part and then pull this back up. You'll see we got like a little divot there, a little bulge over there, and we don't want that. We want it to be nice and tight. So let's go back to the beginning. And now let's just make our line hold for a second so it snaps and go beyond where, where we need to go. So we'll do the same for this side, bring that down all the way. And then we'll do the bottom half and we'll do that all the way through as well. So now if we go into vector trimming mode, we can trim off that side, we can trim off that side, we can trim off that and that. And now we've got nice, tight, clean edges. So let's finish up the rest of this. We'll bring that line across and all the way through. Same there. And then I will draw all the way through like that. I'm just continuing far beyond what I need. And it also helps me to get the smoothest possible curve. Because as soon as you start stopping a curve, that's when things start to get a little, little wonky. You can keep going. Then beyond your smoothest part of the curve is going to be early on in your in your drawing so for here we can get this nice tight line we can pull it all the way through we can even hold the line to snap it straight and now we are ready to clean this up so we'll go into vector trim mode again look at that nice and tight 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 so now we can come in and do the 3D effect. So I'll just draw this line right through the corner. Bring that all the way down. Could come up like that. Bring that all the way down. This is a little off, but I'm not worried because this is going to be filled in. Can pull this all the way down. It's vector trim time. I gotta say, it's just really satisfying to get these nice, crispy edges so simply. Look at that. We can also get rid of that to save us some time, and that too, because we're gonna fill it in. Now I'll just grab a paint bucket, boom, boom, boom. 
turn off our sketch and look at that we got this cool fancy R let's make it pink did you know I'm posting fresco tips every Friday and I'm also doing new full-length videos every Tuesday so if that sounds interesting to you maybe you should subscribe all right good talk